never install windows 11 without watching this video so this is the official windows 11 i installed without any kind of microsoft account without microsoft requirement like tpm secure boot and the no pin expiration without any kind of bloatware apps i completely remove all the apps which comes with windows 11 and best part is this is fully automated you don't need to do much thing i did not use any github script and nothing at all just watch the complete video you are gonna love it so just follow the full video after watching the full video i'm definitely 100 sure you will comment like why i did not watch this video earlier so basically we are going to use this website and generate auto attended.xml file so basically this is an answer file which will install windows 11 automatically so basically you need to choose some settings here and that's it and i'm going to help you to choose these settings right here you need to choose reason and language settings so basically let it default if you want to do in other language you can choose also like english united states and uh, nothing going to change here next is processor architecture so basically this is for windows 10 and 11 so that's why it is showing amd and intel 32 bit but windows 11 requires 64 bit so let it select here now you can see setup settings bypass windows 11 requirement check tpm secure root and etc check this box allow windows 11 to install without internet connection this is really really cool so check this box let windows generate random computer name or you want to set your own name so i'm going to choose here like tex sanjeet okay so name it let windows determine the time zone no issue at all partitioning and formatting so choose this option like let windows set up wipe partition and format your hard drive so if your system supports gpt you need to choose this so i'm going to select here gpt choose how to install windows so select this first option like install on recovery partition you need to change it 1024 next setting is use custom disk part you don't need to mess with these settings now windows edition i have generic key so i'm going to use here like which edition you want education home and pro so i'm going to select here pro if you have your own windows key you can select here okay so i'm going to select this generic key option another thing is here a user account so let windows set up create following local account so i'm not going to use microsoft account so admin let the password blank and set it administrator and uh, delete this here so this would be administrator account select here first option log on to the first administration account create above okay another option here this is really beautiful so many people just stuck in this so select here password do not expire account lockout policy let it selected like use default policy this is really cool setting optimization so many people looking for how to disable windows defender permanently so check this box and you can also disable windows defender service early if it is helpful for you you can uncheck it disable app suggestion disable widget and prevent device encryption why this is important because by default in windows 11 version 24 s2 microsoft enabling this device encryption because of this your system performance is down by 42 percent and if you want to use the classic right click menu you can check this virtual machine support so if you want to install it on virtual box or vmware so i'm not going to use this i'm going to install on my laptop another thing is wi-fi setup so skip this wi-fi configuration because we are going to do it completely offline express setting is like uh, if, if you do not want to share your diagnostic data to microsoft so disable all now this is the best part here remove bloatware windows comes with lots of built-in apps right as you can see 3d viewer camera so i'm going to select all and uh, the one you want you can uncheck them like uh, snipping tool window media player and photos app paint app notepad modern app and clip jam bing search all other apps are not going to install in your system this is really really cool we are not going to mess with these settings just scroll to the bottom now all things are just done just click on this download xml file you have auto attended xml file here now what you have to do you need to download the official windows 11 iso and create the bootable usb so we have downloaded the iso now create the bootable usb insert any usb drive which is higher than 8 gb now download the rufus software to create the bootable usb and i already inserted 64 gb usb drive and select the iso and select here gpt and click start now here you can see i'm not going to choose all these settings here click ok we have successfully created this bootable usb close it now just copy this auto attended file in your bootable usb just paste it over here after that you just need to insert your usb drive in your system where you want to install your windows boot it from your usb drive and all things are automated and if you're a gamer video editor any kind of user you are so this windows is for you now i'm going to insert it in my laptop and installing it on my real hardware
Now we have installed this clean windows 11. This is official and fully automated setup. You don't need to do much thing. Just insert bootable USB and that's it. All things are done by automatically. Open a start menu. Here you can see no pinned app here. There's no built in app. The only app is here. We have selected like calculator, clock app. Recently I installed this Google Chrome and notepad app, paint app, other system apps also. So this is really good and so many people don't know about it. I hope you guys are going to share this video too. Others will know about it okay so let's get into the task manager in cpu usage you can see processes are 125 and currently i'm running this screen recorder maybe that's why it is high and ram is 2.2 because of running this camtasia software so i already taken a screenshot without running this software memory usage was around 1.8 gb and cpu usage is around 2 percent and 124 process right so this is really good lightweight windows which is official you don't need to download any other kind of iso and all let me know your thoughts about this process in the comments.